I'm Peter Brown from Tiny and Sons Glass. Tiny and Sons Glass was established in 1978 when my father and brother and I were at 575 Washington Street in Pembroke. We're certified and qualified to do all your windshield replacement and repair. Tiny and Sons Glass is a community-based business. We have 12 mobile vans that come to you. If the weather's bad, you can come here to the shop. We have a nice waiting area, TV, Wi-Fi, kid-friendly, pet-friendly. We also can move about 15, 20 cars a day through the shop. Perfect for you when the weather's bad. So come on down to Tiny and Sons Glass if you need your windshield replaced or repaired. Tiny and Sons Glass, 1-888-64-TINYS. Just call. Thank you. Um, Bristol Estates. Bristol, yeah. They are putting hay bales out and start cutting wood Wednesday or so, if the hay bales are all right tomorrow. Uh, so far. So that one will be going on. Uh, as you've probably seen, Hallmark Street's going on, sidewalks are coming along. Oh, oh, look at you lost your job. Oh, okay. good. <laughs> no, 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 you Meeting can continue adjourned. on. Continue on, continue on, please. I'll sit on this side. We're almost done anyhow. All right, good. Perfect. Sorry, I'm late. No problems. Yeah, the curbs are all in. Huh? The curbs are all in. Curbs yeah. in, and they should be putting the uh, first coat of asphalt down. Yeah. They were putting the riprap today, too. Yeah. Uh, riprap the side of the, the piece, the walk over by the pond area. They still got to do an island curb stone. So I'm yeah. waiting there. It looks like a lot, there's a whole lot of other marks on the road from the original ones. Well, we had uh, Dougie Bailey go out. And it's got four foot offsets on it right now, just a uh, main way to put the curve. You're still going to need some signs because not everybody goes around that island the way they're supposed to. Yeah, I won't say it. You it, 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 it is a little confusing when you approach it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we wrote it out. I, I know now that the sign's there, it, it is, but it, it, isn't, it isn't natural the way they no, no, the sign. No, it isn't. Yeah. Yeah, it needs to be a little more or something, yeah. We're going to have somebody stay in there going, <laughs> right, and, and, we, and we, ha we actually had that. We had a police officer doing that, and they still weren't listening. <laughs> Just a curious question about the island. If right now it has on grass on top of it. Does anyone know what the... Oh, no, the, uh, this is the island at Monroe and Monroe. 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 There's Monroe. nothing there. Okay, that's, yeah, that's a procedure. Yeah, they're going to actually, they're going to put new curbing in, and then, um, not doing Alec Frazier is actually doing his Eagle Scout project once the curbing's back in. Okay. He'll be redoing that island for the Big Phillips. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Well, no, what Alec. Are you talking about? All of a sudden, he said island, my brain said rotary. Well, that's you. It's a roundabout. They had some roundabout. Roundabout. roundabout, yes. Roundabout. I mean, I don't know what's going on in the roundabout. They had a first they, wrong way on the roundabout and threw a, threw a friend of mine in the yard the other night. Mm -hmm. As far as I know, it's just gonna be, it's just gonna be grass. Oh, I hope the Pembroke Garden Club volunteers. To it would something. be nice. It would be nice. I think we should put a like a fountain in the center and just take bets on how long it lasts. Oh, that's a, I was got, that was part of when they were first talking about uh, putting any vegetation to speak of theirs because they figured it's going to get taken down very quickly so that. You know, it's no sense spending a lot on a, a few trees that are going to get mowed off. Cause well, I have to say, I don't know, I don't know the exact length of it, but um, Dan Smith's low boy went around it the other day, and he made it all the way around with the low boy. And then low wow. boys, that was yeah. that low boy is a long well, people low boy. Questioning yeah. whether that can be done or not. So I, that's I think there's got a lot is depending if the person knows it's there and they yes. come in right. and approach it correctly, yeah. Yeah. they can make it. Yeah. But if they come in and don't approach it correctly, then they've got a problem trying yeah. to get out of it. Without curving it. Yeah. But what do you like the one in Duxbury? You just drive over it. That's all, huh? Yeah, like I said, we, yeah, somebody has on three, on oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. We, we had somebody go the wrong way the other night coming from Bryanville. They ended up in a friend's yard. How are you feeling? The yeah. biggest problem you have with that is everybody stops. <laughs> I know. That. I know. I know. Yeah. They all stop. The only ones that don't stop. Go. The only ones that don't stop are the people come from Hanson. That's right. They have the right of way no matter what's going on. I don't trust anyone when I go in. I love, I love crossing it. The only one I ever had a problem with Scott because he has a meeting before. You look five ways in one. What happened? I was just asking about why we don't start at seven o'clock, but it's because you have a meeting right before this. Some night, uh, every every other week, I have another meeting. You do? Yeah, and sometimes they can run a little long. Okay. 
can we maybe have somebody entertain starting at seven unless you have to and you know what i mean and then that way there we can just sort of alternate. i wouldn't have i wouldn't have a problem with it anyhow because there isn't very often that refreshments or <laughs> <laughs> well i almost bought candy i was having flashbacks when i was in Shaw's the other day but um i don't know if somebody could if how everybody feels about it but maybe entertain the thought of starting at seven unless we have something else that comes up that's how we used to do it for zoning I too that. yeah i think 7 30 especially it's you know yeah. it's later and later yeah, so what ended up happening for me tonight is i end up getting into something else because i can't just you know what i mean yeah, so yeah, yeah. um well you saw me <laughs> <laughs> so well if it's all right i'll make a motion that we start at seven perfect Second. All in favor? Aye. All right, great. So we'll do that. Um, we'll start at 7 unless one of us has a situation where we can't, um, you know, do that. But then also, too, I think as a group we can even decide, hey, can we do 630 or something just when around holidays and things like that that are coming up. Um, yeah, well, that's the next topic. I would like to consider that. Yeah, okay, so that's good. So um, one of the things that came up today is that um, I noticed that our agenda is very scarce. There's nothing on here of importance, okay? So I asked why. So every board does something different. So with our board, we never met unless we had a public hearing. So if we didn't have a public hearing, there was no reason for us to meet. I understand that I'm getting a lot of emails and different you know, requests for discussions and things like that, which are absolutely fine, so long as we really have something to discuss. Um, one of the things I did is I just went upstairs, I talked to Rachel about it, and um, Rachel wasn't sure either, you know what I mean? So she's new with you know procedures and policies with this whole group all being together. And Bob, you can, I mean, I felt years ago, we came when we had a hearing, yeah. not to just talk, right? This, this is, I think, part, partly some of these things need to get done. And we didn't have met for a week, two weeks. Mm -hmm. so it, 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 but now, this is, this is really not a normal yeah it's not normal that we don't have something on our agenda yeah, yeah. Normal normal yeah. yeah. so that's what i want to just make yeah. sure usually, so, I mean, usually we do do it but we try not to go more than two weeks without a hearing or without a meeting but if we have a hearing i think that that's when we should consider doing some of our other business unless it's i mean she can always get in touch with you she can get in touch with all of us there's a couple different things on this agenda and i know that ed um he has some personal stuff going on actually so um he's out right now but i know he's planning a meeting with everybody you know to make sure all the offices all the boards are doing everything the same way when it comes to administration but even like us putting down here payment voucher for you know you know uh, a nameplate for sandra and a nameplate for mark those things don't have to be on our agenda ever like it just they don't have to be that specific on the agenda and besides that you're paying you're signing for these things on your own now right because we gave yeah because we gave her the only thing that she shouldn't be paying uh, signing off on yeah she shouldn't be paying uh, her, her payroll is the only thing but we don't even see that anymore anyways is that going to go through ed yeah that will go all through ed anyway so we don't even have to worry about that because michelle that was the only voucher we didn't sign for her so I think what we have to do is we have to be considerate of thinking now, right now, this town hall is open, right? So I know that selectmen were once questioned about why they have to have a meeting every week as well. So if the selectmen are being questioned, certainly that time could come for us. If there's nothing to discuss, but now we're paying for Rachel to be here. Uh, Rachel is paying, well, not, you know, you're paying to have somebody sit for the kids and things like that. Not that that should be our primary concern, I know, because she's an employee, but I want to be considerate with all the things that we have to do to keep this office open. Um, so I did talk to Sabrina about that just to see, do we have to? Should And she said, you shouldn't be if you don't have anything to talk about. And I think we've done that. This, this is one of the few that have, have got mm -hmm. through like this. But uh, Did she say to sign things or to talk about so a couple of different things one would be um like the way that our agenda should be sort of more set up is and how theirs is upstairs is based on 
you know, public hearings, scheduled appointments, and board actions. So anything that we have to take action on, um, anything that we have to vote on. And I know our, you've you came with um, what was it? Um, help me, Ludum's. Ludum's Ford. Ludum's Ford. Yeah. So that whole thing about you know a letter and writing and all that. And I said, well, let me find out from Sabrina about all that because that's sort of um, out of our jurisdiction because they're trying to. They're trying to get, you know, the state to look at other things that seem very, very important right now, too, for the town. So if we just go ahead and write a letter, we might be sort of stopping something else in town, like with the water, something to do with the water, the whole thing we were talking about with Brockton, the water. Mm -hmm. So I know, I think actually Billy Bull <coughs> is working on that. Yeah. So it's like you can only ask for so many favors, so to speak. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So if we're just jumping in where we shouldn't. So... Her suggestion to me was if we have discussions that we want to talk about, like the question is Ludham's Ford, well what about it? Okay? There was a rubber mill there two hundred years ago. None of us know about it. Not you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like we have to come to each other with a presentation of this is what my concern is, this is why I think we should do something, this is what I feel our next steps should be. Just to sort of we can't just be like throwing stuff out there just saying I want to do this I want to do that and I'm just using you as an example there's been other things as well um, I, I just don't know how you guys feel about it because that's how they're feeling about it upstairs I, I just don't know because I haven't seen since I've been here and that's why it's been maybe a month I don't even know I, I've only seen one hearing and, and then the, uh, and a Boy Scout I don't even think I was here for the Boy Scout no, I wasn't even on the board for the Boy Scout. I was in the audience for the Boy Scout. But I, I was too. Yeah. yeah. It's a good program. Yeah, so I was here for Water Street. Have we had any other? Yeah, we have one more. What was it? It was the... Um, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. space, yeah. please? No. No. It was the... Uh, it was like a septic thing. Yeah. Right, yep. right. Okay. You had the open space presentation there last week. Yep, no, that was, I thought was great. I thought that that was good, but he sort of came. But that's a discussion as opposed to a hearing. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, and the other thing too is, is like we don't even have to put the word mail on our, um, and what they're going to try to do too. So, I'm just trying to make sure. Are you recording me? I just I want did, to make but sure. It was an accident. Okay. I'm well, we recording you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I know. I'm just trying to make sure that everybody knows what everybody is doing. That we're all being recorded. I wasn't here earlier, so. I'm just not sure if um, I lost my train of thought there for a second. Um, you know, making the meetings useful every week, so it is useful. <laughs> Do you know? Oh, with the mail, I know that that's what it is. So I know upstairs their goal is to get all of the departments doing everything the same way when it comes to their meetings. Like I know, I think Board of Health actually, they talk to them about their agenda and things too. We don't have to talk about the mail, but I think it's nice the way, do you see the way that Sabrina does it? But like even the way you did it tonight, like you had stuff for me, that we should all be responsible to come and get our stuff, read through it. I know that you said that you like to take a little extra time to read your yeah, stuff too. Yeah, to so it's mm -hmm. a necessity. Don't yeah, really and absolutely, <laughs> and you know, wasn't. I actually mentioned that. I said that I feel that, you know, if you need a little extra time for that, that, that that's something that the town should be offering you. Yeah. Well, so if you, it's all done. Yeah, good. So if they, she does a great job. Yeah. So if we need to have somebody come and help you read the mail, I, I whatever. can read through it. It just takes me a little, a little longer. Time, and I little sit time. down and I relax and uh, read it. Perfect. Um, that way there when we're coming here it's not we're not on TV wasting people's times at home so we're trying right now to perhaps mirror what another Commission department does um, or just pick the pieces that best serve this Commission or to streamline or to prioritize to perhaps discuss not meeting every Monday but every other Monday there's so many things with yeah so there's a couple different things so there's gonna be upstairs they're gonna try to make everybody the same uniform so, uniform so are they gonna provide a, a template for the agenda they're gonna right. well in, if they right want to do that I think they should yeah, provide a template should come from above if they, it's going to if, yeah. everybody is gonna be the same the minutes everything is all yeah. gonna be 
I'm just giving you guys a head start to know. Yeah, I'm just giving you guys a head start to know because I went up there today because I was sort of concerned about us just meeting for no reason, you know. Um, and then just basic discussions. It's just, it, you know, I can't just say, okay, let's just talk about this. What is our purpose of discussing it, I guess, is the, the main priority, yeah. right? Just, yeah, we can have a conversation, but it's nice to have a conversation that has a solution at the end. Or yeah, a, yeah. Or a like what yeah. is the problem? What is the concern? Yeah. What can we do to make it better? You know, all of those types of things. So, because there have been a couple of other discussions that I feel like they're very good topics, but I feel like we've got off topic. Yeah. Um, especially if it's one of the nights where you're recording us and we're one of the ones that are live. People at home would be like, who cares? You know? <laughs> yeah, well, I think it's um, the recording is also for their awareness, but also for our clarity yeah. and, and our records. And yeah. I think that's a good thing and makes it easy for everybody on that. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of stuff needs to be discussed. I think you're coming in post like Route 14 project where there's just a lot of discussion mm -hmm. from all different places and, you know, mm -hmm. overlapping each other and jurisdictions mm -hmm. and such. So I think that is kind of post we're through that and mm -hmm. I think you know like you said I don't uh, have any problem discussing anything that's important and I'm more about in the field guy and you can rely on a wetland scientist and they can talk this or that but when it comes down to it conservation I think we put you know it to, to the word we go out we look mm -hmm. uh, I go right out there every time I vote on something if I haven't seen it I'm there mm -hmm. and if I'm going to say something I go out in the field so I think we all bring expertise you know I'm just mm -hmm. you know a high yeah. school guy, but mm -hmm. uh, I've impressed some people, and they like the work I do. So mm -hmm. um, no, I, I, I feel like you have a ton of value. Actually, you know, I mean, the last meeting we had, you brought a ton of value. In, where it's important, like you're saying, streamline it and put it where it's important, where it means something. Not you know, how we can make a difference. Yeah, not misdirect things. Get it in focus. Mm -hmm. When it, and I think that's important. I'm with yeah. you on that. Yeah, into I just know that you know, just being respectful. And I have that in my notes, like just being considerate. I mean, this is taxpayers' dollars, you know what I mean? Obviously, we're volunteers, but we're paying for Rachel, we're paying for the lights, we're paying for the doors to be open, we're paying, you know what I mean? So um, I just feel like we should be more respectful of that part of it. Um, I know, Bob, you feel that we need to be meeting every other week, but are there things as the agent that you feel, or myself, or you as, you know, chair and co chair, that maybe it's something signing off on something or deciding if something is of importance because every other week I don't even know if there's nothing on there oh I think if you go back in minutes and agenda you'll find that almost every week there's been hearings until, except for the last yeah. little no I mean two and three hearings at a time we have yeah. been in an era where not much has gone on from the conservation mm -hmm. standpoint but Normally there is at least one, if not two hearings. And any time we didn't have a hearing, we'd we'd say no hearing, the, no meeting the following week. So should we? The only do thing that? That we've done this is because we've been, been so many weeks without a hear, without something that the board has certain things they think they should be discussing. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I think to bring us together as a board, it's good to sit, talk, meet, greet, and mm -hmm. at this point. It's a, it's a good thing to do. I think in the future, maybe it wouldn't have that value. Mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. When an, is our next? I think another, excuse me, mm -hmm. I think another factor is, um, I think there's different levels of uh, relationships out, outside of, you know, the table here, mm -hmm. where I guess personally, I don't see anybody mm -hmm. except for this meeting. Mm -hmm. And so I see value in the just the general discussions because I'm still in a learning phase. Mm -hmm. So I actually enjoy that and learning more because I like to hear what everybody has to say and mm -hmm. that has value to me. But I, I also understand the efficiency of time and, you know, not wasting time. So it's, yeah. uh, well, I'm, because, I'm, I guess I'm a little torn with it. Yeah. Well, and the other thing too is, is we have Rachel here mm -hmm. and she's taking, you know, she's recording. So she also has to be now in the office and she has to type up everything that we're discussing right now. Right. So that's, you know what I mean? So that's taxpayers money in order to do that. So if they're general topics, if we're not voting on anything, I don't know why there can't be. And I know we're worried about open meeting laws and all that other stuff. But if they're if we're not voting on something, certainly we can talk about things. 
correct? I mean, I'm curious about like curbing or uh, you know what I mean? I just don't know if there's a couple of people talking about that sitting in Dunkin' Donuts. Is that a problem? I don't know. If there's three. As long as there's two, yeah, as long as no, there's only there's, three. Yeah, there's only three. three. Four. Your Bob, unless he's in those. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh boy, Bob's rule. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know about that because of that, but I just don't know that every week is a necessity because of if there's and nothing also, to you, vote on. Sure. I don't think this, if we take this one meeting tonight off and look at everything else that we've done, yeah. we don't meet in, unless so we, we have to. So Nobody that's good. really that's, wants to be. We don't. We've done it one one mm -hmm. time, and it was following a holiday week and, and all that that yeah. you're getting, you haven't met. Usually we have business to that discuss. requires almost every week, right. and we look forward to the, the week when we can do something and schedule so we don't. This okay. popped up, but I don't think we're making a big case of this one. I don't think Sharon is trying to say, because I spoke to her earlier, I don't think she's trying to say let's just like put meetings off indefinitely, okay, but let's yeah. meet when there's business, not not say okay. we're going to meet every other week regardless. Let's say let's meet when we have actual business. I think that's what we already have, though. Yeah, I think this is what we've been doing. I don't know. I think we've just, been this really, every other This week. last couple of weeks is not representative of what we've usually done over the last two or three years. Usually, but again, the Route 14 project was full in swing. Mm -hmm. That was a large amount of what was going on. So things do fluctuate. And I think it's good to have what you're trying to do is streamline, mm -hmm. and that's good. Um, yeah, that's just, uh, we want to take Rachel's job away from it on the other hand either. <laughs> no, I mean, we certainly don't, but there are other things that need to be done. But I know, you know, I'm just giving an example when I was on zoning, and Michelle would say, we would say, okay, we're going to continue this until you know, the next meeting. Michelle, when is the next meeting? Oh, well, we don't have another hearing until two weeks from now. Okay, so why don't we throw this one on that meeting versus just having a meeting next week? And you know what I mean? Like sort of well, making- We also have time limits. Oh, I know, but on purpose. But that's what I mean. I mean, we have to we have to use the discretion, obviously, of how long we think everything's going to take. If it's going to be a big project, then certainly we know that we have we have uh, if we have something come in, we only have so many days. So many days to do it. Yeah, of course, and I understand that. I'm not saying throw it off indefinitely. Yeah, just mean, perhaps a happy medium is something like yeah, yeah, scheduling every other week, but an agenda like tonight. You know, obviously, I saw the same thing. I read that. I said, "Why are we bothering meeting?" Yeah. So you could say we'll meet every other week, but with exceptions like this one. You know, you could you could easily say this wasn't necessary tonight. Mm -hmm. You know, but but we would have a schedule here listening to you with the questions and getting your input on what we should. Well, we I honestly thought that I was going to try to cancel tonight because I just felt like everybody was so we were even, we weren't even sure if we were going to even have enough people anyways like that's sort of how it was going this afternoon when I just popped in on some other business um, so so it sounds like it's almost a combination a combination being either we just hardcore meet every other week or we meet as needed or we do a combination of that with the possibility of canceling that every other if nothing's happening. Yeah, because I feel every other to me is too, um, okay, we're going to meet every other week, but we have to meet next week because we have to take, we're going to, you know what, we have to meet next week because we want to continue this until next week. We have to do a site walk. Mm -hmm. So now it's, we're here for three weeks. You know what I mean? Because is it going to be every other week? on purpose yeah. or is it going to be every other week because we're here this week and we have to come next week i think that's the nature of the beast and you can only control it so much and you have only so much lead time on these things and post time people come in and mm -hmm. the processes and companies but what i'm not saying, against what you're saying when will be that other other week you know what i mean if that every other week is concrete so we're meeting okay so he has one week he has another week and there's holidays. And then there's this then there's this week in between. So we're having a meeting here, yep, and then there's the holidays. So we're meeting on this one. All right, we're gonna continue to next week. All right, so here we are. We're gonna continue to that. Bye. Okay. Did you get my text message the other day? I did and I responded to it. You did? I didn't yep. get it. Oh, okay. Yeah, Can and you I told do you that? if you if you did it before if you called me for the four o'clock that day, I could have got it done. Can you do it sometime this week? I will talk. I'll yeah. find. Thank you. Sorry. Yeah, no worries. Um, but now if we have to meet next week, are we still on this week? Why don't you say two weeks following the meeting?
And so if we have to meet that week, it would be the other week. Yeah. Or we could just say, we're going to meet this week and play it by ear as we're here. You know, we have nothing what, next what week. What has worked in the past? Who has the best idea like, the work in the schedule? past is we, we yeah. leave. Okay, if so we have a hearing, we have, you know, we have a meeting. I think we have if a we show. don't have anything on the agenda, we cancel. <laughs> this is the unusual. We're, we're spending a lot of time I'm talking thinking. about what is the unusual. Not what we normally yeah, would do. In the past, you said you yeah. met as Rachel, a we meet, we we were scheduled to meet every week if we had business. Right. I think Rachel knows the schedule far beyond mm -hmm. all and of that's, us. No, yeah. That's so the way it was. But if there was no business, or if there was for some reason you, we weren't going to get a quorum, mm -hmm. then we'd reschedule. Right. But Rachel has to reschedule these things and put them in the paper. Right. Mm -hmm. And, and all that, so that's why we... Well, we should never reschedule a hearing anyways, I don't think, right? What? We should never have to reschedule a hearing. We have, I because of lack happen. of war. It, it, it's going to happen. We don't want to, and I think yeah. it's like the last thing you want to do, but it ha we have fire trucks because we have fires. We don't plan on them. Yeah. <laughs> you know, things happen. Well, today Rachel told me that usually you meet, I guess in the winter it's every week, in the summer every other week. Every, the summertime was always every other week. Right. And so do we have less work in the summer or do we have... Usually in the summertime we try to reschedule that. Yeah, this is, this yeah, is usually less work. Literally too, there's yeah. more work in the winter. They're trying to wrap up the projects and get them buttoned up for the winter. Mm -hmm. Correct me if I'm wrong, sir. <laughs> Jump in. You know, it's, it's something we have no control over. A lot of what times people you just don't know. I mean, you know, I, mean I, know, I, I know as a as an applicant to the board myself, you know, something comes up and, you know, you're scrambling to, to get in front of the board. And as a, you know, as an applicant, sometimes a two-week window is a long time when, you, when you're trying to get something accomplished. So, you know, again, there's two sides to, to this argument, I'm sure. And Rachel, I mean, how much if somebody came in here and said that they wanted to fill out... I believe in that. I just want to make sure we all can speak at the same time. Um, somebody came in and like the schedule. Points. I mean, how hard do you think it is to schedule? You know, so we can meet. If somebody comes in, how many days do you have to get something in? If somebody wants to meet. file something, yeah, it's usually two weeks from the day. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, today we got someone came in with um, an NOI, and if they had had their taxes and everything paid up to date, which they didn't, so it's not yeah. scheduled. But <laughs> yep. if they had, we would be meeting on the 30th for their hearing, which is two weeks from today. Yeah, so we would have, I mean, so you, it would have two weeks, weeks you have two weeks head start. But so if somebody they came in on like Wednesday, a lot of times you have to advertise. It's actually a three week if we go on the two week. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. Because you lose, you right. lose that. That just happened to be two weeks to the day. But if right. it was tomorrow, now but you're Then they push down another. That's right. Then, yeah. they're, then they're three weeks. Yeah. Yeah, but is that based on when you get it in the newspaper? Yes. yes. It has nothing to do with us. You know what I mean? So it isn't like we can go faster just because somebody has an emergency. Well, if we're not, I'm saying if we're not meeting. No, still but we would. That's what I'm paper. saying. But we, we would. It's an emergency. We it's just the nature of the game of developing land. Yeah, yeah. Weather is a factor big time. And people, that a contract is lined up and they're trying to get this done and that done. And we have to be flexible for business. Business is what pays our taxes, builds our homes, and builds I understand our community. That. But I don't think that somebody comes in and says, can I just talk to you guys next week? I've done that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Then, why, then why what they we say, to, well, maybe they can. I mean, and then we have to, to say, because they're not client. on the agenda. So if somebody came in today and said, I want to speak with you tonight, they well, wouldn't be able to. No, yes, not tonight, but we can schedule if they are, As long as there's no filing. So we can just, at no, we don't have to put anything on there, on the you, agenda? Yeah, just push the agenda. She refiles the agenda. Right. Yeah, but I don't know. The last time we did that, Sabrina said we couldn't do anything. I mean, they can talk to us, but we can't. Make so many, the agenda decisions has to be filed regarding. so many days ahead right. of time. Like, ahead of time. Like exactly. Friday. In other words, if they came in on Monday, theoretically, you're not supposed to go on to your meeting because you didn't. But if they came in on Friday, then you can change your agenda up until 3.30 on Friday mm -hmm. Actually, and put them on there to be. It's... It's do you what can you put on your agenda or what can you talk about? It doesn't you can't make any decisions. You can put things regarding on that at the last minute if they're emergency. You can't. You can talk to them, but you can't make any decisions. You can't vote on anything, no. and you can't make any decisions on whatever it is that they're bringing before well, you. Well, if it's an emergency, like if there is a real emergency that's going on in a person's life, then I'm told it can go on as late as Monday, as long as it's approved by the select board. Like say if something happens, there's a flood or something, you know, mm -hmm. a person has a real immediate problem. 
mm -hmm. there to help fix that in an immediate fashion. You know, if their house is flooding or something due to construction or something. We have two choices. It looks like we have two choices. What's done in the past, which was meet as needed, yeah. Yeah. or every other. Mm -hmm. Well, I, somebody can make a motion because I still personally feel it should be as needed. I just feel like we're. That's where it was done. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Yeah. yeah. That's what well, and, right. and that right. could be yeah. every week. Right. And you know that, what I'm saying? But if we're, yeah, yeah and that's week. fine. I'm, yeah. no, I'm not saying I don't want to be here, yeah. but I would say it should be as needed. I just feel like if we do every other week. Well, we're still going to have a, a, a pocket things, hole yeah, where somebody can't happen. come. Things happen, yeah. You know what I mean? So I don't think being specific to every other week. I think it's a good base sense. to do that, and then you just roll with the punches. Yeah. You know? I and I think that we talk about this. we're taking a long time to talk yeah. about this. I yeah. know because we just have different views on it, and I feel, for me, I feel that it should be as needed. That. And that could be every week. So, any more discussion on it? So, just, 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 just sorry. Go ahead. What do you want to add? Go ahead. Just a question. So, on the as needed. So, when will we be notified that there's going to be a meeting? Well, we would know like tonight. When is our next meeting? Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna know. Yeah, on the layers during the meeting, well, whether we're meeting next week or not, is that what we're saying? Because, because you know, if that's the case, that's great. But you know, I travel and mm -hmm. you know, I, I need to make plans, so I just need a little advance notice. So I'm mm -hmm. just trying to get that square. If that's if we're going to know tonight if we're meeting next week or not, that's fine. I mean, we should be able to know that though, but we should know we should have known last week if we would have a hearing today to next week, right? No, well, see, we have, there's a, some other things we could, that we haven't even touched. We have had a site walk since our last meeting. Does anyone know what happened at the site walk? Oh, does anyone that? care then? I, Nobody I knows, do, but I does do, anyone care no, I do, what I do, we I did do, at the 40B site walk? Yeah. Yeah. I do know and I do care, so yeah. what happened? I would actually okay. like to know there was I mean, a site walk and yeah. I'd like to go. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, this is the kind of thing we can't just throw up. This is part of why. I so when of, was I the site walk? Well, I mean, I didn't even know, like when was it planned? It was talked about and Plan. It was good. It was on the agenda. It was good. Done by the uh, state DPW people. Again, looking at what we had wrote, written for the 40B project when we denied for lack of information. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And all the paperwork done. It was in minute. The mail. Uh, yeah. Okay. It was on Water Street. At Water Street. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a Water Street extension. The Water Street walk and all. And Did you go on it? No, I've been on one other one, but I didn't do that one. Did so I wasn't even on the board at that time, right? Yeah, so did you okay. go? No, I didn't. Yeah. Okay. So Rachel, Rachel and I were yeah. walked. I've been on it before. With, so that, with DEP and, and the contractors and all that. But it's it was part of what we're doing here. It isn't on necessarily on our agenda because DEP hasn't given us any paperwork yet. And it, it's their decision. The ball is in, in this case, the ball is in DEP's hand right at the moment. Right. Uh, it, if you want, you want me to tell you some of the what went on. Yeah, or? but I just like see that isn't even on here for a discussion, and I'm not arguing that we can't be here. But like when I saw this, I was like, we're here to talk about W. B. Mason mostly tonight. You know what I mean? And you're telling me that this isn't the norm, which I'm happy to hear. Agents report. Okay, perfect. Well, that's on upstairs whether there's something or not. Several on so their on the selectmen's report, it's there every week, so it's almost like you don't know if it's it is never or been it isn't. On the for this week. Okay, so again, I know everybody's trying to put everything together, so why don't we just you can tell me? Yeah, what it is. I think we should continue as, as we have it's when we need to meet, we'll meet, and if we don't need to meet, we'll Are you let people know. Then? But what happens sometimes is we schedule a meeting and then comes Monday morning, we find that the maybe we can get cancel the meeting. Well, we, we'd like to cancel it on Friday or Thursday, but sometimes it's, it's all the way up until the morning before that uh, you can, you know, you also you find out so-and-so can't make it. Right. This guy isn't coming yeah. in. Mm -hmm. uh, paperwork didn't the, the, arrive. There's all sorts of reasons. Tax, yeah. So, uh, you know, you can't say you can tell them a week ahead that there isn't going to be a meeting. That's why we say have said there is a meeting until you're told there There's isn't a meeting. meeting. Right, exactly. mm -hmm. I think that's a good rule of thumb. Which, uh, All right, so why don't, thumb, well, I mean, so. I didn't, I mean, I don't even know that there's anything to vote on. It was more just a conversation, so I don't know if you want to make. I can, I'll make a motion to meet as needed. Okay. 
Anyone add to that? Well, as we have been doing. Right, as mm -hmm. we've done in the past. In the past. Okay. So, so, it's so it's not changing anything. Changed. Yeah. yeah. So okay. Then yeah. Everybody's and, in favor uh, of keeping it. I'm gonna say I'm sorry for this. This was uh, this is. We well, really want to make busy. a clarification because I disagree. I'm sorry. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I'm looking at our agendas right now. We have met every other week. We don't meet as needed. We meet well, every other week. So we're either going right. to change it as we've as been needed. doing. I said no, that. As we've yeah, been but we just come off of some of them too. So right. are we going to meet every other week still, or are we changing it to as needed? Rachel, when, when, what are you looking? How far back are you looking every other week? Since summer, which is okay. What I okay, said. summer schedule is every other week. Right. This is what I'm saying. So this is what we've been doing, right? So but we're, we're not in summer. We're in winter right. schedule. And then we've had, so then we've had a Labor Day Monday. Right. So we've had that's a, why it always a Columbus, Columbus Day so then Monday. Then it's not as needed. Yeah. It's every week. Right. It's every it's week. Either or. We're, yeah. Okay, I see what you're saying. I was saying it the same <laughs> way when I said as needed. I meant as we have work to do, and it gets good. Always gets busier in the winter. People are folding up jobs, and so then that means I, I we're meeting every here, but I think if we need it. So what can, what constitutes needed? Sandra's saying yeah, the, as I, needed. Her motion yeah. is as needed. Mm -hmm. There's two options: as needed or every other. In other week. words, we meet every other every other week, or we do the winter schedule as we've been doing every week, as needed. I would say every two weeks. Okay, let's compromise here. Every two weeks that we've been doing or every week as needed for the winter schedule, as needed. So we get that, when we go to every week, we get the as needed. When we're doing the every two, I think we need to meet every two weeks, so it's just as important. A lot of other things just besides running this that takes place in this town and all sorts of overlapping and there's people on different boards that are on this board. And I'm one of them. Mm -hmm. And it's good to get the import. And, and I just think that touch. certain things like this, unless, of course, your agent's report, I think is, you know, how important is that? But I just don't think that we should be... I think we could have went two weeks and met next week because I feel like next week we probably would have had more to talk about. I guess this is my point and I'm not clarifying. So if we're doing every other week, we wouldn't be meeting next week. In other words, you're saying this could have been postponed till next week. Yeah, like, is there anything of importance on this that we couldn't have done this next week? I think we need it as a new board to meet and greet. I don't think we have to do it every time, but I think this is a good thing to sit, talk, get yeah, this Yeah, I think to out, well, out, based on this coming tonight. up that there was nothing. So but we have a value tonight. All right, so now, and I'm not saying we don't. That's why I'm here, and that's mm -hmm. why I, we, I didn't suggest we cancel it or I didn't show up. But let's just say that this was us not meeting and greeting and, and discussing this, yeah. is this important enough for us to all be here? Now we, we're not here next week, because well, that's every other week. Well, is it important enough to have to do it this week? Let's reclare that. Not to do it, but to do it this week. Could we have postponed it till next week with our other work? Exactly. I think Since whether it's important enough to do now out. is different yeah. whether it's important <laughs> enough, period. Thank you, Art. <laughs> you know, I think grouping we it together. We spent 45 is, minutes doing nothing here. <laughs> to talk about that oh, literally yeah. it's literally nothing but we still haven't gotten to a conclusion right? so what are your Meeting thoughts on it reading. well i think we should just be it when we need to and which is almost every week okay that, that's perfectly winter. fine if we need to but to me this to me doesn't feel of need unless the agents report of course it seems like that might have been important and so if it, it would be important only if you to you people how important was it will it be what i have to say i could go it can wait until next week well, we're here now, but, so, but... But, the but in here is, this morning we could have got the mail from DEP for us to... To act on. Act on. Mm -hmm. We only have 10 days to act on it. Okay. You don't want to put and so, if it had come in this morning and we didn't meet, and didn't meet until the other thing, we've already taken a lot over half of our time More before half. we've even looked at what we're doing. Yeah, it's an important and that's document. part of why I didn't I didn't yeah. tell ask Rachel to cancel is because I know that somewhere and we talked about it this morning about Rachel, that DEP should have responded by now yeah. to the the site walk. And they left a lot of things at the site well let's finish this then I can tell you okay. what about the site walk thing that what was left up in the air there. So let me just ask a question too, though. So what if the mail comes in tomorrow? So are we meeting next week? Right now, if that mail comes in tomorrow, I would assume we are. 
Exactly. So that's what I mean. We can be flexible enough right. to no, do no, that. No, no, I agree right? being As flexible, needed. but I think um, okay. everybody's got to be flexible in all directions, still including the chair. We have to come in and work when it's necessary. And it's, yeah. You know, we're all volunteering our, our efforts, so it's, it's commendable mm -hmm. to be here for anybody to work with you. It's good. Mm -hmm. And I like professionalism when you're bringing that. Mm -hmm. I think that's good, but we have to. No, I feel like. This is not lost time if we work this out and we all. Meet, exactly. Meet, and, and again, it's more of just a conversation yeah. to respect the taxpayers' money, to respect each other's time and schedules as well. You know what I mean? And just to make our meetings of value. I'm not saying that we shouldn't. I'm just saying, and again, Bob, my apologies because this is what my fourth meeting. And I'm just not familiar with a, an agenda looking like this. Anytime my agenda from zoning, it was hearings and. Mm -hmm. You know, and Michelle was very deliberate about we're not meeting until sometimes it's, you know, I know and I know we have time constraints, but so did we on that another two weeks or another three weeks. You know what I mean? So I just don't want to fill up a piece of paper if we don't just because we're here every other week. I would rather prefer to say, you know what, we really got to get our butts in there because, you know, the DEP sent us that mail. I, 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 sorry, this, and this is not typical. I mean, and that's what I'm glad to hear. And you go through, you'll find that we, anytime we didn't have something to do. In fact, there's been times when if we only had one hearing, and it was a hearing of less importance, mm -hmm. we might put it off, ask them to put it off for another week mm -hmm. and take a week off. That's, we've been very f right. frugal about having meetings. We yeah. like to have our time off. Yeah. But uh, this you know, one, aside from the agent, right? Fifty percent of us have less than six weeks on this board, right? yeah. literally, right? Uh, yeah. So it's hard to, you know, it's hard to correlate all this because we don't have the experience yeah. to say what has historically happened because we're all new. Yeah, so, and too, yeah. that's for me. Like it's, you know, I one month in or whatever I am right now, and I'm just trying to look and make sure that we're all staying on track and I everything. Think zoning is not best representation of kind of the workload and the stuff that gets done in conservation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, conservation is wide, mm -hmm. wider than people want it to be sometimes. What yeah. it is, it's called conservation. Yeah. That's what we do mm -hmm. by the law. And it is encumbering at times. It's uh, stressful at times sometimes with different opinions. But mm -hmm. you leave that all at the door, and you leave it at the door when you walk in and out, you'll be professional. And yeah. That's what we need more of. And you'll bring that, which is good. Which I'm hoping, I think we that we're a, all, everybody has a little piece of making, I think it's a great board. I feel like we're all on track. I feel like it's great. Like I said, I just want to, you know, I felt like I was more um, on here from an administrative standpoint, you know what I mean? Just to, you know, I just don't think with the mail, actually that was brought up to me by Sabrina, that because she looked up the agenda, that we shouldn't be writing that type of stuff. You know what I mean? It's just... First of all, she you can sign she, she can sign well, for any of this stuff by I, herself I, now. I didn't anyways, write any of this. This is this is the first agenda since we've given her permission. Yeah, right. no. but it's yeah forms for signature. So the other thing too, Bob, I was trying to remember. You know, what might be helpful too is you know if you got you got an NOI today. Let's just say their taxes were paid. You would have scheduled that with them, right? Yep. So we should be able to see. And um, a like monthly calendar of some sort, like you know, something that we, we can see what has been set up. You know what I mean? It's not next week, but it would have been the week after, right? No, I'm just gonna. So, um, that's I'm just it's just yeah. I feel like we can you know sort of future forecast how often we're gonna be in here. Well, to a degree, if, if, it's not if the everything it's not runs according, we're here almost every week, all week long, except for the weeks that are. Holiday Monday weeks. Okay. I don't know because I haven't been here for you. Yeah, well, we, we are. When you describe that past practice, do you describe it as saying as needed? When yeah, it was. It was always as needed. In other words, if we didn't need to be here, okay. we didn't come. You're just saying there was enough honey. Right. There was just enough. Enough. busy enough. Because yeah. not all we're, we're talking about uh, straight filings. Most of our filings are not taken care of in one mm -hmm. sitting. Mm -hmm. So that the filing that's here this week probably is better than a 50 50 percent is going to be the next week too because the week after, something here is going they're going to say we need this information we need that we better check this you're going to have to come back so though this filing may show us next week 
they might it may be the, the next week. two weeks after and that they also. They pick the mm-hmm. third week because they right. need more time to figure it out. So yeah, but all, as I say, well, can, that's why we say have always said we are meeting every Monday night. Right. At, but if we aren't having anything to do, yeah. We I don't mean, I have it in my here. personal yeah. calendar as every single week, no. whether I'm here or not. Well, that's the winter schedule we're moving that, into. It's so I had it there every for other all four summer. weeks. Yeah, so in, the, in the summertime, and again, as I say, in the summertime, we said every other week. And right. what, what we, when we go to every other week, what we did was we rely on Rachel or whoever happened to be sitting here that if you came in with a form that was going to be sitting by itself on the odd week, you were persuaded <laughs> to allow it to be you no know, the third week the third week mm-hmm. rather than the second week because yeah. in the summertime you, you know it's easy it's here. Here we oh disappears. we aren't meeting next week or we aren't meeting in two weeks it'll be three weeks and if they don't say no then you can do that mm-hmm. in other words we were and that can't be done we're, in the winter. we're making it for every other week type of thing and, but then sometimes you get into the problem that when you do that, you may end up with five or six you, hearings uh, on that week. So you're here until 10.30 sure 10 10 at night on, instead of you know, being so at 8 o'clock. You just don't know. It's, yeah. The so workload is not such that you can even it, it out. It's all over the place. It fluctuates and it fluctuates with time uh, restraints in both directions. And it's the client, you're trying to do the best for them, yeah. not us. Right, so we work in round what what comes up. That's that's our duty to do our job when it's necessary. Mm-hmm. I'm all for that. So we'll just keep it to as needed, and Rachel can be the deciding factor of when that is. Is that yeah, usually we yeah. we have always left it up to yeah. whoever I, sat I behind I the mean, desk and did the administrative work to set it up. I would say we're here, here this next time. time. I make a motion. It, it, we'll leave it as it is, and Rachel will be the deciding factor, oh, and she's the person with the knowledge yep. of what's going on. There's a motion on the table already. Yeah, well, the motion as needed. Yep. There you go. Are you would second that? I second that. I just, All in favor? Mm-hmm. I, I just keep it as is. So, Rachel, you're in charge of that. Good luck, girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> so, we took an hour to decide nothing, but again, well, no, we, we did want to decide that we're going to keep yeah. it the way it is. No, That's I think it's decision. good. Um, did you guys already decide the, discuss the minutes? Yes. Okay, so that's all taken care of. So then we have the agent's report. So do you want to talk about that, Bob? And I don't know. I feel badly that I don't recall that whole um, site walk. I'm not sure I would have done it, but. I checked out on this one because I didn't want any more ticks on it. Yeah, no. Tick, Ryan's. Ryan's like live with ticks. No, I don't know. We, we were pretty low with them. And some pretty deep. Yeah, I can live with them. I have to say, though. I think that we should buy she, a pair of Hunter boots. I had to borrow some of these boots. She, yeah, yeah, yeah I was just going to say that. Great. She went out and yeah. borrowed a pair of boots and it had the us. Us already on it too from the hostel. They, they <laughs> have, uh, she walked for, all the way through that. With <laughs> they got pants for hunters that you can walk right through briars. Really? Yeah, no, well, I need a pair of those too. Yeah, there you go. Just <laughs> you put jacket. it on your list. Yeah. Yeah. So what? what yeah, so so what was? Yeah, well, the site walk. Uh, DEP was down. They they walked it. I mean. What did we see? I don't know we saw anything. I didn't see anything I didn't see the first time around. Yeah, that's what I didn't know. Uh, I think it was all, should, could have been done at the side of the road because it was all basically administrative. It's, uh, you know, did they present the information or didn't they present all the information that was needed and whose responsibility was it to, you know, for the information to be presented? I mean, is it theirs or was it ours to get it? Even though they they're the ones that were, yeah. but basically the end of the result was that DEP wants them to <coughs> wants to kick back to us. In other words, they don't want to make a decision. Well, that's in my years that's DEP normal. They don't want to make a decision, but it's not up to us to make that decision. It's up either to DEP or to the uh, proponents, you know, to request that it comes back here. And that's why we've been sitting waiting to see which way, you know, the, which way the ball is going. Because so we kicked it to DEP and then they kicked it yeah, out. Yeah, of course. Well, we didn't kick it. They <coughs> they, they uh, uh, asked for an adjudicatory, or, or they wanted the, 
DEP to make the decision. There's goods and bads with this. Uh, if DEP makes a decision, I believe we, we, that leaves DEP as the uh, person responsible for the conservation part of that whole 40B project all the way through. Because once they stick their hands in and, and do something, it, we are left out and they've taken over for us. supersedes us. So that could be that could be good because it lets us off the hook as far as making decisions over there. But, it but at the same time, we like to sometimes like to make our, our own decisions. Are they good at handling a situation like that? Well, if, if we push them too hard, it goes to them anyways. So. Yeah, it's it this mm -hmm. whole that whole the fire conservation goes over there. The issues are all kind of one of these. Where's the line in the sand? I mean, do they come over this side or they come over that you side? Need to find a bigger I mean, tick it, it's plant. not anywhere near as uh, in your face as what everyone wants it to be. Mm -hmm. And basically, and I probably shouldn't say it, and I stick my foot in my mouth. You know, they're using conservation right now yes. as a means of making it difficult for the 40B project to go mm -hmm. forward and you know to, we're in that position you know and because the whole town is looking at us to do everything we can we're doing mm -hmm. everything we can uh, mm -hmm. which really isn't a whole lot I mean I, I wasn't present for the meeting but I did go back and watch mm -hmm. it on tape and, yeah. and I my conclusion was the same as the meeting there wasn't enough information to make a good decision no. and they don't know, want enough I wouldn't feel comfortable making a decision on that with the with mm -hmm. what was presented they don't want mm -hah. enough information yeah. to make a decision. then, then the answer is no <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's, that's that's my stance that's yeah what that's, I'm and that's what my stand has been all along they yeah. no it's it's, I, it's a, they're not putting things out there that should have been put out there for it but at the same time they didn't ask us to make a decision on the whole project, they only asked us to make a decision on, is this the wetland line? Right. Yeah, no, so theoretically, we shouldn't look at anything but that wetland line. Yeah. But we have the problem that if we look at the wetland line, and that's the only plan that we have that shows the wetland, doesn't show us any of these other things, well, that plan goes into the file. And if you look Even though we don't say we only accepted this, anyone that looks at it, doesn't necessarily read that little print in the corner that says we only accepted the line. They're saying, well, it, they didn't show the North River uh, boundary lines. Right. They didn't show all of these other things. Mm -hmm. And that's why I want a plan that shows everything. everything. And right. then we'll say, okay, we only yeah. do that. But you've showed everything Including because somebody's going to use that plan for something other mm -hmm. than and what it was intended for. Luckily, the owners of the property actually knew them. And, uh, they had a habit of pounding nails in the tree for the high high storm tides. And if you go back there and look at some of the nails that they put in that pine tree, it's obvious that uh, they got a problem. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> they got there's a problem. problems there. So what do you, you mean? got a hundred year storm, they're going to have water in their uh, in their garages. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of lot of problems, a lot yeah, of a lot good of reasons for it not being developed where it is. Yeah, it's just that you know. They don't want to put too much on their plans because everything they put on it could be used it's against them. Exactly. Oh, okay. yeah. mm -hmm. But that's where we stand. We don't know where we're standing right at the moment on it because till somebody does, somebody triggers whatever's go going to happen next, we're just sitting they in might, the middle. I might even find a bigger tick plant yeah. next spring. I mean, as often happens, the developer does what they do and they go away. And, yeah. you know, that's, He's not that's going the problem. Away. Well, they go away because they're not living there and they're not looking at it every oh, day. Oh, no, no. I got and, the you know, yeah. the people get stuck with the problems like, like Bird Street. Yeah. Those lots on Bird Street. Yeah. yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. You know, so uh, I think, you know, I think we need to really uh, be careful with that one. And until they give us all the information. I think <coughs> I, think I, I have for, to tell you, we no. so far, our expert that we've hired has been being paid by the proponents because the law allows us to turn her, her expenses back in to have mm -hmm. a professional. We now are getting into an area that it's a little different because now we've said you didn't give us enough information, it's going to DEP. Now DEP is making the decisions and we're not. Mm -hmm. So 
we've asked MACC, which is kind of mother organization, can we still ask for money to keep her on our payroll mm -hmm. to advise us as we go? And unfortunately, MACC says no. They don't believe so. As long as, as long as uh, then I guess it would stay with as long as GDP then, right? is what? Then wouldn't it just stay with DEP then? Let them, I mean, they could well, kick it back to us. Are they saying if they the kick it back to us, then we probably can go get after more money. Yeah. Right. But if it stays with DEP, then they say we can't get the money from the proponent. We can get it from funds that we have that mm -hmm. are, are put aside for hiring professionals. But we're going to hire professionals to issue this before the DEP. Yeah. The, well, yeah, but if if we're looking out for the town's best interest, yeah, somebody right. has to be watching DEP check as check well check. as Absolutely. as the contractor. So Absolutely. it's Both of them. it's kind of we got to have to kind of feel the rest of the town. Or, you know, you people willing to? Well, I shouldn't say that because their funds are under our control. In other words, should we be spending our our funds to keep this going? Or, or what? I mean, uh, you know, is it in the best interest of yeah. the town for us to be expending some of our mm -hmm. uh, our other funds? The funds I'm talking about, the funds that we get every time somebody files a piece of paper here, we get a portion of that into a, a fund. General, yeah. And it only can be used for certain things, and one of the things is hiring expert. It can be used for paying race, part of racial salary, too. Oh, say we... Um, we do go that route, and we pay for that, and it is done, and we come to a conclusion. Now, does that end all further people coming back and saying, 10 years from now, well, I'm going to develop it? No. So it's just for that one one yeah, site at just, that present? Yeah, so one piece, just that one piece of paper, and basically plan, yeah. he could withdraw the paperwork yeah. he's got in now and refile and again the next week and at. start the whole process all over again. Yeah, and we just throw the money away. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to catch up, and... I'm not certain I'm clear that it's, you're discussing the deciding entity for the 40 BL Water Street. Yeah. But if I read in the paper, was there decisions made prior to this where it was proposed a 40 B development on Water Street in 2000 and whatever? Oh, yeah. and it so, was so this information related yeah. to that rejection of the property. Right, yeah. Yeah. And can you use that information again in 2000? It was never came as it never got as far as it is on this one. In other oh, words, we okay. were never actively involved in so it at all. Yeah, it got shot yeah. down so fast. Like yeah, it was shot down early by the people, by the state okay. people. Okay. Well, this should be too, in my when, opinion. This is fine. When well, did she a, say that they should? should I'm sorry, I didn't mean to stop the no, top, no. and that was rude of me. I'm so no, tired tonight. Okay. Um, the um, remember she was saying the best time to do just look at the water levels. Do you remember that? For them oh, or yeah. for us. For them, yeah, well, not for them. They did it when it was best for them, and that's why it looked like it was dry. Last year. So, so we, have, we, have, we have a professional you know, yeah. that's yeah. that's been representing us. That's yeah. real tops. Is that that way? Well, and you look at the soil structure. She's brought all of these points up. She's, in other words, if mm -hmm. someone is going to be able to find the mo monkey wrench to throw one of the things, she'll find it and throw it in there. That was the woman that was there that night? Yeah. yeah. She was good. Yeah, she yeah, was really good. I she mean, she was very thorough she and very informative. Yeah. We, yeah. Very we have we have a couple of three people that we've used over the years okay. that are, are very, that very good that, that way that, and have done well by us. Mm -hmm. all, all no, she was very, very thorough. It made me feel comfortable because, right. yeah. again, I feel like... She was on top of her game. Yeah. Yeah. No she's good. That's good. She's yeah. uh, and she's tough. She's tough. She's like you. She's tough. Tough, tough girl. I'll tell you. She's be careful then, Mr. Clock. <laughs> I won't be bringing you candy. <laughs> so we're still in the information gathering stage related to the wetlands there? or? Yeah, well, the wetland line is pretty well established, but there's chances of vernal pools. Yeah. Is possible streams. There's a lot of yeah, other they're, they're questions, and there's a lot of just general questions of, of what they're here. telling us mm -hmm. was there, there to begin course. with. Okay. And uh, yeah, it's still a very informational yeah. part of it, and all. Uh, I don't know how far it's going to go. I mean, it, it looks like there's a lot of 
things that are good for the town and bad for them, but that doesn't always mean yeah, anything at all. Always work no. out. Mm, they'll, they tend to well, find a way. I think that's when the, that's a unique enough and I, and I'll have to say that, and don't hit me now, Rachel, if, if we have anything to do with the engineering firm, they will never get done. They are mm -hmm. the most... Arrogant <laughs> yeah. people. That certainly came through on the tape. Oh, uh, that I watch. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. Uh, I think once you start doing the ground survey there and you start finding out how many newts and yellow spotted and silver spotted, you know, newts and stuff are there, um, they're just little guys, but they have rights, I think, all along the way. There's there's yeah. environments within that environment that are protected. Yeah. Just have to bring it up yeah, at the right uh, time. I mean, and they haven't even got into the points of the, the safety issues up there. They're not our issues, but the safety issues are tremendous on that street and, and everything. It's just... Mm -hmm. but, what about the North uh, River? They have, I mean, weren't they? Feet. It's just yeah, outside of their, well, we have been told it's just outside of their jurisdiction. This is one of the things we were looking for yeah, we'll on the there. plans mm -hmm. where they, they had it on another piece of paper at the last meeting. Yeah. But they didn't have it on the plans. I mean, well, here's it on this piece of paper, yeah. but it's not on it this piece of paper. I mean, I want it here. So it was yeah. Relative to. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 yeah, it was clear that it was incomplete. That yeah. was legitimately my very first meeting. Yeah. Yeah. I remember. And well, I was like, welcome aboard. Yeah. And now yeah. 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 suddenly you're the chairman. And I'm like, what are we talking about tonight? And you see how they try to schmooze right through things, you know. That company is not a steward, let's say, of the land at all. Putting it nicely. Yeah. Well, and I I'll say the difference between working with these people at Water Street and the people on that are doing the 40B on Bird Street are like oh. night and day. Oh, yeah. yep. People that have done the 40B on Bird Street have been right up front with everything. Everything. And, you know, been mm -hmm. been cool. top notch to work with so far. I mean, we've had no problem. Mm -hmm. They've actually gone above and beyond. We talked about. Reclamation being an important part will be put back because there was really nothing left there. Mm -hmm. People like to hear that, but that place was just just gone over so many times. Mm -hmm. And um, they really they started doing box culvert and reclamation. They did the bridge. They took the high road and that, mm -hmm. and uh, they, all their silt socks were up. All the flows were right where they had their little retention areas. I just saw everything nicely mm -hmm. done. Yeah, they do do a good you know, job. So really I do did. know that firsthand, obviously. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, you have to be very careful when we talk about Fourth Street 40B. And I think it's all of us on the board have to make sure because her company isn't represented there. So we want to make sure that she is not, doesn't right somehow get involved in making any of our decisions mm -hmm. on that on that piece of property. Nothing to do with it. I no. No, I, but I mean, sometimes you you can be sitting here talking and not realize you're getting it. I don't want to talk about it right now. I don't want to be on Pembroke Chat again this week, okay? Yeah. So okay. let's just, yeah. I just really don't want to. So yeah. um, don't I don't mind, a sp anybody. I literally do not mind a spotlight being on me. I, I truly don't. Well, because we don't need to pass in an ethics violation on a platter. <laughs> no, <laughs> you know what, here's the thing. It's like, you know what, I have no hidden agenda for anything but other than to help the town and I'm happy to see that we have a good group here. Mm -hmm. I feel like everybody is getting along and moving in the right direction, and our jobs, I feel, are very organized to like help the community, right? Mark's <laughs> like, our chair and you're jabbing away. And, 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 you know, well, it's, it's all good. I think we all bring different things to the board. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm learning from all of you. Really group, those, that's, yeah. that's a good thing. I think those, it's really good. Those, you know, the capabilities each person brings need to be accept accessible and used. That's what we're here for. Yeah, certainly. I, I mean, you bring a lot of information. I mean, obviously, you know yeah, how I feel. He's you, the archive over there. He really is. I mean, he's <laughs> yeah. great. I was the secretary with him 17 years ago. So um, I know it's, it just feels like a good group. I feel like I'm very administrative. So, mm -hmm. and we have good experts. That makes me feel very comfortable, mm -hmm. too. But... Um, yes. Well, we all know what an expert is, right? Hmm? An X is an undetermined amount, and a spurt's a big drip. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all experts. <laughs> yes. Um, well, yeah, I, had, I had a question about the um, the lily pads on Gore Mill Pond. The, yeah, remember? Right, which, which pond? Gore Mill at the, yeah. the dam, and, uh, where Brockton Water takes their water up. What, didn't we put some money into the um, lily pad removal on Furnace Pond? And wasn't that some of that supposed to go towards... Um, 
take care of Gormilfon. 